this camera intimidates me. And so does this one. And so does this one. I'm second guessing myself every time I pick up one of these. Is the exposure good? Does this composition work? Am I using the correct settings? Am I failing as a creative? This fear of failure, fear of being creative and then failing at it, it is completely debilitating and I am changing that narrative today. I'm not failing anymore. Words matter. I will either succeed or I will learn. No more failure. I am not a failure and neither are you. We are just trying. And it reminds me of that movie, Little Miss Sunshine, where the grandpa is talking to his granddaughter about her not being a loser. If you haven't seen that movie, you should totally watch it. At the end of last year, I made a video about how I was a failure in chasing my dreams. Failure became a reality just a month ago. I gave it all up, destroyed everything I worked for. My goals and dreams no longer my own. And granted, at that point in time, I really did feel like a failure. But things change over time. And right now, I don't feel like a failure at all. I actually know that I gave chasing that dream of becoming an airline pilot everything I got. I achieved so, so much. I just changed my mind and want to do something different right now. And that's okay. Erase that word failure from your dictionary as well. And join me in either succeeding or learning. Many things have changed for me in growing older and I've had such a full and exciting life already. But like I said, things have changed. For example, I always considered myself to be a city girl, but I find myself more and more at peace in places like this, like the beach. Every time I come here, I remind myself of how lucky I am to call this place home. Now this is kind of interesting. There's a film cam crew, a whole crew right there. And they have like this red Komodo camera or Komodo red camera and they have an underwater camera and they are filming just a little music video is what uh, one of the guys said that's in that crew. I talked to them for just a little bit because I am really interested to get into filmmaking on a more professional level, I guess. So I gathered up all the courage that I had to go talk to them and then they were not very talkative. But I guess it's, you know, you're working so you don't necessarily want to go talk to somebody that's just curious and it's interesting actually because over the weekend I was here to film for a different video and I was standing here with my camera and my tripod and this lady came up to me and she's like what are you taking photos of and questions similar to what I was asking them and I felt super uncomfortable for her to come ask me those questions so maybe they felt uncomfortable too for me coming up to ask them those questions but it's one of those things, right? When I'm out, especially with this camera, I feel, I don't know, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because maybe somebody will come up and ask me a question because they feel like I might be doing something special, but I'm not. There's a reason why I came here today at 7 a.m. Also, sunrise was at 6.30. I was a little bit late for sunrise, but I think I still have some good photos. But yeah, I came here super early so that I can avoid people. So people don't have to ask me any questions and I can just take photos at will and not feel uncomfortable. All right. This is going to be the last exposure of the day, so the pressure is on to make it a good photo. That's how I feel. I always feel like I just want to take a good photo because, well, they cost money, right? Like, it's not as easy as it is with a digital camera that you can just snap, 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 snap. And I want this one to count. But that's, that's the thing that holds me back. So I'm just gonna try it and see what I can do because there's lots of varying lighting conditions. The sun is coming in and out and uh, there is no automatic mode on this camera. So I'm just going to, yeah, 
I'm just going to do it and see what it comes out like. Alright, so here it is. Every single exposure has been taken and this time hopefully it went okay. So the last roll that I had in there was completely blank because I had not loaded it correctly. So this time I'm hoping that it is loaded correctly and I think it is because I saw this thing turning so that's good. All I need to do now is roll it back into the film and then get it developed. I will do that right now. This is the moment where I should have pulled out my phone and consult YouTube University on how to correctly extract the film. So I don't feel any resistance now. Well... Just gonna open it, see what happens. <sighs> I messed up, opened up the camera, and the film wasn't rolled back into the canister, but the film had actually snapped away from the canister. Oh no. We'll see what's that gonna happen. I'm just gonna take it to the 60 minutes and see if they can help me fix it. I did a lot of learning this past week, both with filming and with photos. First of all, I wanted to say that the guys at uh, 60 Minutes, they were great. Not sponsored, by the way. They were able to get the film out of the camera anyway without it being all rolled back into the canister because it broke away from the canister because what I forgot to do is to press the release button on the bottom. It had to be pressed first so that you release the tension on the film that's wound up in the camera so that you can roll it back into the canister. So I didn't do that. And uh, yeah, the guy said, you only do that once, which is correct. I will never do that again. From the 36 exposures that were there, there were only 17 that I liked enough to keep. And then a few of them were completely washed out because of the fact that I opened up the back of the camera. So they were all overexposed, right? So then there's like this whitewash that comes over the um, photos. And what I also learned with that is that if you do open up your film camera for like a few seconds and then close it back up, not all the photos are ruined. There are still some photos that you can salvage. So if that ever happens to you, then don't think that there is no salvageable photos in your camera left. Yeah, so, so much learning happening in this week. And it's just so tempting to want to go back to what you know, to go back to the things that you are comfortable with and doing the things that you know that you got this and the challenge is well at least for me and let me know if it's different for you but for me the challenge is to lean into those things that you could potentially probably very likely fluff up right so the challenge for me is to keep doing these things that i am slightly fearful of with that fear of things not coming out correctly and then learning and then having to do it again and again and again to just get better and better and better. All right, I'll be loading a new film roll to take my photos each and every day, at least one. I'm using a Fujifilm 200 this time instead of the Kodak 400 that I had earlier. And this time I did consult YouTube University before starting this process. This little tabo is proving to be a little bit more challenging than I want it to be. Then I'll pull this so that it actually starts winding, which it did, so I know it's actually working. Close it to then not open it again. 
until I'm actually ready. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and giving me so much of your valuable time. If you made it to this point in the video, then you are definitely my people. I would be honored if you choose to subscribe and come hang out with me again in a different video. Be careful out there, pet a furry friend if you have one, and I'll see you in the next one.